Oh yeah, this girl right here, Kaylee, remember her? Got their head slammed. She's um recovering but missing part of her skull. Damn. So this white girl. I think you have to take a piece of your skull off to let your brain swell. Because if your brain, if they don't take the skull off and the brain swells, it'll like cause you like, you know. Yeah. But yeah. Oh, oh sister. Let's see what the sister's got to say, man. Um, oh, Lord. <laughs> what? <laughs> Come on, man. Give her a chance, man. Um, face the reason. And so the second thing of, well, people can't have an opinion on culture. I mean, it's American culture. And this is the second time that I've heard this from somebody. This is the second time that I've heard a person that has another type of origin tell me that black culture is American culture. That is a lie. Black American culture is black American culture. It is not American culture. Those are two very different things. Bruh. So, so basically oh, what wow. she's saying she's is right. that America... So so let's take Africa. Let's take a village in Africa, right? A village in Africa, which is where this woman would be had not been for slavery and all that stuff and colonization. That culture, the difference between that culture and blacks in America, where they got toilets and electricity and cable TV and computers and, and fucking gynecologist and, and two-story buildings. Two buildings and shoes and socks and underwear and toilet paper and diapers and bras and tampons and all this other stuff that has nothing to do with America. America had nothing to do with it. Well, I will give I will give you one thing. I'm sure she'll find plenty of uh, amateur aspiring gynecologists in Africa. I'm Check telling you, I'm bro. Telling. They they really, I I'm I really I despise some people, bro. They they trying to they're trying to tell Vlad he can't comment on niggas having a in a in a in a rat beef, bro. And his whole fucking platform is based on rap, bro. And he can't comment on the half Jew, half black rapper in the rap beef when he's Jewish. Because he's the rapper's also half black, so that disqualifies him being able to talk about. Bro, these uh, niggas just anti-everything, bro. God. Oh, here we go. Um, so this white girl, man, she found herself in a little kerfuffle, a little pickle, man. Yes, she's getting out of the car again. You've reached 911 emergency for the city of Los Angeles. Do not hang up. Your call will be answered by the oh next available gosh. operator. Oh Please God. remain on the line. If you hang up and call this back, like your call the worst will be situation for ever. This one is literally hitting my window right now. Usted ha llamado al 911 emergencia de la ciudad de Los Angeles. No puedo. Damn, you gotta literally wait for them to fucking the Spanish prompt. You could be fucking. You could have a bunch of wild banshees at your window trying to fight you. And you gotta wait for the Spanish prompt to um to fucking go through while you're in emergency. God, oh. Operator, please remain on the line. If you hang up and call back, your call will be delayed further. Please this woman stay is literally line. hitting my window right now. Usted ha llamado al 911 emergencia de la ciudad de México. Okay, no puede. Su llamada será contestada por la próxima operadora disponible. Por favor, permanezca en la línea. Si usted cuelga y vuelve a llamar, su llamada se retrasará más. Por favor. And then all they say is white women always want our attention. White women do this. White women microaggress. <laughs> white women do this. <laughs> Let, let's be clear here. Like, think of, think of it this way. Uh, if it were not for sun women acting like fucking like baboons and constantly inserting themselves into the culture at large will say they would be the most ignored demographic of women period 
Mm. Like we we saw like the OK Cupid data, right? We already know that. Like no no mm. one, no no one, <laughs> and no nobody's one's coming. Up. No one's trying to, you know, get with you. Oh Lord, yo, mm. I, I know this this glider woman. Uh, what Dave Chappelle said got the pressure of a nigga with fifty bricks in his basement. <laughs> got two fucking wild banshees knocking on your window and shit. You stuck in traffic? Oh hell no. And and also one thing that ups it is the the brazenness. When some people behave brazenly like this, that means they really don't give a fuck. Yeah, you like don't know if you're going, willing man. to get out of your car in a major city at a major intersection during a traffic jam and try to attempt to pull another driver out of their car like you've basically kind of like you're on level 1000 at that point yeah they ready to take it there if that yeah. bitch would have cracked her window oh man Yo, if they would have had something to break her window, if these were guys, they would have broken her window. They would have punched yeah. the window. These are girls, and girls hit with their palms and shit, so they, they can't break a window. But if they could, if they had something to break a window, her window would be broke. And you know they mad over some dumb ass shit, too. They're mad because she's white. Yeah, mad at the good hair. <laughs> and And also the fact that Whatever little thing it was that was really, 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 really small that probably happened, the white woman probably didn't do what white people usually do. They usually like <laughs> bend over backwards to make it right. Like they profusely apologize. You know what I'm saying? We're used to, I'm not even gonna lie. As black people, we're used to white people like, making it right and being you know demonstrative about making it right it just is what it is and if she was just on some whatever shit oh yeah you no you you gotta make this right yeah that's a fight you can't be white and do that that's a fight for sure yes she's getting out of the especially a, a girl with long hair <laughs> I wonder what the fuck happened here. You've reached 911 emergency for the city of Los Angeles. Do not hang up. Your call will be answered by the oh next available operator. She we lucky they didn't key her car, too. Yeah, Remain man. on the line. If you hang up and call back, your call yeah, will be delivered. Yeah. This woman is literally online. hitting my window right now. I wouldn't say that. I think she's on the phone with 911. <laughs> <Bruh>. <laughs> Look, man. <laughs> He literally is on the phone with 911. Right There's a cop right there, and it just doesn't matter. Because, you know, some people are so scared of police. Women demanded the police be defunded. They're going to get a DUI. I think they're drunk. They're drunk. She she thinks they're gonna get a DUI. Nah, man. He gonna say just get them out of there. He's gonna he's just he's gonna say move just along. Go, get your car. Yeah, get your car and go. He don't want no smoke with them women. He could lose his job. Yo, whatever this interaction, if he presses this, he could end up in prison or unemployed. Hey, fuck it. Just go ahead, man. Just, just get in your car and leave, 